Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set download limits for all WooCommerce virtual downloadable products from one central location, like programmatically. I'm going to include a link to this blog post. And the first thing is to go to your WordPress and WooCommerce site, go to admin area. So I'm going to switch to my QSandbox account. I have something about tutorials, which is WooCommerce related. So we're logged in. And the next thing is to go to a virtual product. And you need to ensure that virtual and downloadable checkboxes are checked. You can set the price. You can update title description and hit save the same applies if you're adding a new product like normally you can add the limits right here download limit and download expiration that's that's WooCommerce saying here is the days after the purchase we have five and three three days and five downloads this is good if you have let's say 50 products or 100 products or if you have variations for example you're selling this product in different uh, variations for example one could be like a wordpress plugin or theme and you want to sell that theme and say you can use that theme only on one site or three sites or unlimited sites and each of those variations has a different price then you would have lots of products to edit that's why it makes sense to set the limits globally. If you scroll down here, you'll see multiple short codes, actually not short codes, but codes that you can use. And those codes, they need to be pasted either in one um, custom plugin or in functions of PHP. Like a custom plugin is the recommended approach. For this video, I'm going to just use the functions.php file. So again, I'm going to switch to my test site. Again, I'm going to go to appearance editor. This site is using like the, the default theme from WooCommerce. Shoot, the ones that they they created called storefront. To go to functions, theme functions. Um, normally, you need to create a child theme for this demo. Let's pretend that. It's a child theme. And additionally, even if it were a child theme, the team from WooCommerce recommends using like a custom plugin to put your customizations there. You want to check that out. I'm going to include a link into the, the blog post. Basically, you download this plugin and you put the the customizations right here. You're going to need to upload it into WordPress WP content slash plugins. And by using that kind of plugin, the changes will survive if you update the main theme or the child theme. They're giving an example here that some theme providers, they create child themes based off an existing like a primary theme. And those child themes, they get updated as well. <laughs> so, so that's it. Let's go to the functions.php file and let's check the, the snippet. We just pasted it right here. In this case, here what we're doing is if if there's no limit set then we define the limit of three so this one is this one is limiting the downloads if you want to to always limit the downloads let's say to five you can put five semicolon and put two slashes so it's a comment that way regardless of the current settings of the product that value will apply it's totally up to you the same thing applies to the other block 
let's say you want to allow people to be able to download up to seven days after purchase let me put seven here again for this value we'll ignore whatever value was set for the, for the product so if we go here very quick downloadable product we have download limit and download expiry set here Sorry. So two actually not two five and seven and by the way if you're running a php version like lower than 5.4 this code might give you an error, but I'm sure your hosting is running an up-to-date version of uh, PHP. It's because of this syntax. I think it was PHP 5.3 or 5.4. So, something to keep in mind. Another thing is that that block applies to simple products. I'll switch again to this. We have a simple product, but if that was a virtual product that was a variable we may give an example earlier for example you're selling a wordpress theme that has multiple licenses for one domain for three domains or unlimited and each of those variations has different price then you're going to need to get the other code which is right here copy it and you paste it right here the same idea applies here. You can put again seven and make sure you put slashes and five semicolon and slash slash. If you make a mistake here and that's a PHP code, it could crash your site. Not could, actually, it will crash your site. And you may have to use an FTP client to fix that. So be careful. F using FTP client might be better just in case so if you catch a mistake you can quickly either remove the code or and then inspect it in in a text editor or quickly fix it so i'm clicking update file okay for some reason the user interface didn't work for me to update that file so i've used ftp so i've edited this functions.php file right here and appended the original code it works but if you want to use the version that is uh, going to work for php 2 to php 4 above then you can use this actually be a simpler option like again allow five days after purchase and five downloads in total super simple and the change should have been uploaded by now so we're gonna go to let's say product i'm not going to save those changes the thing to notice is that those limits are not going to change the limits that we've just set they're going to apply only for orders like when you order something and actually when your customers order the product then those limits will be set if you wanted to use a a plugin you might as well create that folder mu-plugins and you don't have to activate that plugin at all you can create a plugin let's say my Commerce custom fixes that PHP and you can paste those changes right here. If we paste those changes here, since the files, since we already have those changes here and functions.php, if we create another file, it will crash PHP on the website because that function name already exists. You have to add a number or change the name to something else. That's about it. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.